One of the things that uh, Americans don't know much about is the recently passed nation-state law. Could you say a few words about that, its implications uh, uh, for life uh, for Palestinians in Israel and uh, uh, for the Israeli people themselves? Um, I'll tell you a secret, but don't tell anybody, that I wasn't very, I didn't go much too deep into it because there were all kinds of debates and discussions and that. Uh, because for me it seemed like a law that consolidates an existing situation. But I learned now from my friends and lawyers and, and legal experts and Palestinian activists in Israel proper that I'm wrong, that I have to pay much more attention to it. Because now it gives license to to more right-wing anti-Palestinian legislature. Um, it doesn't have the words that, that were kind of, um, I would say, crutches to the Israeli ethno-democracy, as we call it, uh, that talked about equality to all peoples. Now this, the words of equality are taken out uh, from this charter. It's some sort of a charter. Uh, What's also dangerous is that it sees Israel as the home, homeland of the entire Jewish people. Not Israel, the homeland of the citizens who live there. Now, it was always, Zionism always said that there should be a state for all the Jews in the world. But in practice, we know that uh, most of the Jews do not emigrate now anymore to, to, to Israel. But by claiming so, it says that and, ah, and it says that Israel is the sole uh, that the, the, the Israel is the sole uh, is the place only for the Jewish people or the Israeli Jewish people. I don't remember the as I told you. I'm not. I know that I have to go uh, deeper and study it, which means it excludes the Palestinians. It it treats the Palestinians not as a people but as individuals, not as a people, indigenous people in this country but as individuals. Um, again, the practice was the same. Sure. But still, you had for years, you had a, enough big an audience or, or a, a, a public in Israel that was in favor of the Palestinians' right for, for self-determination. So now, by law, this is, uh, this is not to happen. By law. Of course, I don't think that, you know, not, laws do not create reality, they, they can shape, but you can also undo laws, it's not... Uh, uh, so I know that I have, I take it as a note that I have to further learn about, uh, study this law. Uh, you know, there was so much, I'll tell also, there was so much written about it, and by experts, that I felt relieved that I don't have to go into the depth, because I, there are so many other things that people are not interested in, legislature that goes directly to the Palestinian occupied territory, to the occupied Palestinian territory of 67. Very complicated thing that I'm about the only person who deals with it, and I can give you an example. That it really preoccupies so much, uh, takes so much of my time, that I'm relieved when so many others deal with something else. Sure. Yeah. I'll give you an example. Um, you, you were in Palestine, and you saw the separation wall. Now, probably you followed the, 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 uh, uh, the way it was erected. And when it was in 2002, the Israeli authorities promised high court, because there were many court cases against the track of the wall. Israeli authorities promised high court that Palestinians will have access to their property, to their land, and nothing will disturb them, and it'll be all fine, you'll see. And indeed, in the first year, farmers get there, could go in, the, the, the gates were open for them, etc. And with the years, it becomes more and more difficult. And fewer and fewer Palestinians can reach their land. And the Israeli military, um, military prosecution, or the military legal experts, invent all kinds of legal tricks in order to prevent Palestinians from reaching it. Uh, now, they, for the past five or six years, people 
inform us that they are forced actually to divide the, the land by the heirs of the original owner or the registered owner. So if it's a grandfather, and Palestinians don't bother because this is agricultural land. And as long as you don't want to sell it or to build in it, it, it is taken as collective plot of the family. But then the Israelis form, force them actually to, to uh, divide it. And, or they, they actually divide it. The Israelis say, mm -hmm. ah, you are 12 siblings and of one, one owner which means we have to take your land and to divide it by 12. So you have 800 meter, square meters. That's okay, but you can get only one permit because you, not, you don't need much work. But the men used to work for the entire family and to yeah. the plot. Uh, and then they, subdiv then they say that a land which is smaller, a plot that is smaller than 330 square meters doesn't need to be cultivated because it has no agricultural necessity. Even though you can build a greenhouse there and, and even though you have one tree, so you can have two gallons of, uh, I don't know, one gallon of olive oil if you want. What? Who are you to decide for this person that his land doesn't have? By this way, less and less people get permits. Now, I was working, and this is uh, uh, um, uh, legal de de military decrees or military in instructions that build this. And this is so complicated, not less than the nation law. So I was very much uh, preoccupied with it. So that's mm. my explanation why. So I, I cannot even stress how serious it is because with time, uh, a big chunk of land, Palestinian land, will be actually off limits to all Palestinians. Now it is all off limits to all except the owners. But now they reduce the number of owners and, and farmers who can reach their land. And slowly, slowly, it becomes more green lungs for Israeli settlements and Israeli communities in Israel proper. Because these people see that they are, ah, they are beautiful trees, beautiful orchards, a little, sometimes even a, a, a little spring, and nobody goes there, so it's neglected. So let's use it for us, the settlers. So this is, this is uh, and I'm still, I still have to write about it because people still don't get it enough. Yes.